Hello, my name is Natalie Pennington and I am running Hardy Harvest, which is a farm market in Remus, Michigan. My husband's name is Thomas Pennington and he has helped with all the refrigeration here at the farm. And we have a new little girl named Felicity Pennington who is eight months old as of right now. And we started off with a card table in the front yard, whatever was extra in our garden at home. And then as we've grown over the years and started with building this western looking town in 2008 and we've built on a greenhouse. We're now doing farm to table dinners here on the farm and we keep expanding every year. So I grew up on a large sheep farm um, and from there we, we started having produce and then I started to run the market myself and so now I manage the market day to day and help with adding some more um, craft items into the store and help with the field management and, and bring more people onto the farm to kind of diversify in what we're doing. It's so hard to see, to even think about what the farm is going to be in five years. Every time we build something, we're like, let's move that, we need to build something bigger. Um, I, I foresee us doing more dinners on the farm, bringing more people in. Less and less people are cooking at home, and we're still growing the produce, but we'd like to start cooking for them. And we'd like to start bringing people back onto the farm to see what we're doing to show that we're actually, we're growing healthy produce, and we, we want to keep our, the next generation farming and we want to keep our families fed well and the people that come here as well. When I started Farm Miro, I wasn't sure what the organization was. I knew we had gone to meetings as kids with the parents and then as I got more and more involved I started to see that um, hey, we can do more activities to show people what farming is like. At, at one point I got involved with Profile and that that profile experience has been great. I've been able to go to Washington, D.C. and talk with legislators. I've been to the Lansing Legislators Seminar. Um, I really enjoy going to the Young Farmer events because then I get to talk with other farmers and bring our ideas back and forth and see what their struggles have been and, and where we're going in agriculture. Making that policy book, I felt that that was key to seeing that we're still a grassroots founded organization and being a part of forming those policies, I really felt like it was my organization and not something I was a part of. One of my most passionate things that I'm involved with is the youth group at our local church. I enjoy um, sharing the faith with the high school kids and that's kind of a pivotal part of their lives and where they're going to go from there in the direction of faith. And I also, it, farming has allowed me to be on the farm in the summer and during the winter I've been able to go to Haiti and Guatemala and different areas of the world that are less fortunate and be able to be hands-on and bring some help to those communities.